I am is number five. I've been doing this a while now. So now I'm going to start sitting here and just yelling about shit. No. So I've broken up. I only have five here, not six, like the normal uh, thing. Because after I'm finished with this one, I'm pulling out the other five that are more expensive than all of these. And those will get another few days of listening, testing, writing this out. And then those will get reviewed. But number five here, we're looking at the FIO F5s, the Brainwaves M100s, the one more triple drivers, the Fidelio S2 IEMs, and the one more quad drivers. And I bought these, and these were alone for me, and these were by the company, and this was by the company. So we're about to get a good hard listen. Well, I already had my good hard listen. <laughs> hard. What do you want to talk about? You want to talk about cables? You want to talk about cases? You want to talk about how they sound? <laughs> Boring. I did this in price order. The FIO F5s, which I still to this moment cannot find online. I look, they sent them to me, and I'm looking for them, and it's like, where where do I even, where? I had to go to like HeadFi to find a review that someone else made just to find the price. They're about $80, which if that's the case, these might be the deal I don't want to say of the century, but of all my I am thing, these might be the deal at eighty dollars. Should we just start with them? Should we just get it over with? So here they are: cable, straight connector. I don't like the rubberized feel of this. I know we're getting right into wires because all these other ones, if I grab them and pull, it slides through my hand, and I don't feel like I'm going to break anything. That's fabric. That's a thin cable. That's fine. This is like. I'm just, it's just gonna break. That said though, these are the only pair in this lineup with a detachable wire. Now this is, there's two wires it comes with. This is the standard three and a half millimeter with a microphone on the right, which is the standard place to put it. It's got three-way rocker, it's got a little tiny switch here that says A and I, so Android and I OS. Here's your microphone. I don't like the feel of this wire. It's straight, look, it's dead straight, it's light. I don't have a problem with the way it splits. It's got this permanently attached, like, it's a, it's a, it's a cable wrap. You're supposed to put this here and then pop it in and you can wrap your cable, but it's permanently, you can't get it off unless you get a very, very small scissor or razor blade and then cut that off. So that's, play Indiana Jones with it. That's a thing I don't have to talk about. It's also, if I hang it down, which I have known to do, the shortest, and both cables are exactly the same length. So they're both the shortest. And you might not think that that matters, but if you're doing anything like I'm doing, or just sitting at your desk, that extra four or five inches is just going to kill you. Now, we'll get to the Fidelios. They're also pretty short, but it's still not as bad as this. So, what's the second cable, Zios? The second cable is unique as far as I know for IEMs, at least the ones I've reviewed so far. Because it's still rubbery, but silver, same length, no remote control, because it's a two and a half millimeter balance connector and that is so it can go along with their x5 there or any portable player that supports balanced output of two and a half millimeter if you don't know what that is quick refresh there's four pins here instead of three the normal headphone plugs get three and it's bigger and that's actually this has four because it's microphone too but this particular cable is designed so that you could have the left and right individual IEM have their own ground and their own positive. So I've been using this cable a lot on my M1060s. Just just point that out that if you pick up a set of these FIO F5s, you could use them with a normal cable and then you could use this for your M1060s. Just just a thought. Just a thought. Just a thought. Look at the case it comes with. And it's my first bullet point. Best case, P 
period from anything here. It's the cheapest set here at $80, and it has a Feo branded, basically little baby pelican case. Here's the different IM tips. It's rubber, this is like a hardened, it's a rubber, is it a rubber case? Yeah, this is nice, it's got foam on top. It's just, oh yeah, it doesn't come with many, I think it comes with also bags of the complies, which I've I've used on other ones. I think it comes with at least one of those bags. I've There's just been piles everywhere. The tips don't vary in size as much as I'd like to. But you can see there's, there's three sizes here, but it's very, very close. And then there's ones with uh, colors which are a little bit stiffer than those. Blah, 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 case. Who cares? How do they sound? Well, once you put them in, at least once I put them in, I was a little bit surprised because Fio, you know, when a company is like Fio and they make, you know, equipment, usually you can't make good. There's very few companies that make equipment and good sound production devices. Pioneer makes the Pioneer speakers. They make Pioneer amps and everything. The speakers are good. They're not fan. They're not like top of the world, but they're not bad. Sony, Sony has started to change their ways where they have, you know, very good headphones, but they're an equipment manufacturer. You wouldn't go to, let me think, like Denon, you know, buy things from Fostex. So, Fio, this is their first real step in as far as, can I think of any? There's no Fio headphones. There have been Fio IEMs, but I think these are the ones that they should be making. I need my list. Bring me my list. That's my other list. I could sit over there. I like how it destroys the camera when I look at it. All right, it's the only one here at this table with a detachable cable. The only one here. Uh, it's got the shortest wire, and when you put them in your ears, it's depthy. The I'm, I gotta go sound. I gotta go sound. This is a, it sounds like you're in a room. Where some of these other ones, I'm gonna when I get to the, I'll explain what the chart is again, even though you can't read it. There's treble, mid-range, bass, imaging, and width. Those are the five things I've actually put numbers to. And I don't like putting numbers to things, but it's hard to keep track when there's this many. So the width value, only one on the page that's a nine. That means you put these on and there's that samba shake over there and it's, it's over there, it's way over there. VR to style surround sound. Slightly bright. I'm gonna give them a slightly bright. I don't want to say bright. I'm gonna say slightly bright because I like these and I don't want to say that they're bright. They only get a seven in treble, however, not just because of that slight brightness, but because compared to the like hundred ninety-five dollar quad triple mores, triple one more quads. These are the one more triples. Compared to these, like this one, I have to just knock it down to a seven out of ten. So it's just, it just has to be done. He's got a nine in mid-range though. Anyone who's watched any of my IM reviews beforehand knows that a nine is rare. So the fact that I'm giving treble a seven, mid-range a nine, and bass a seven is like, well, what does that mean? That means these are good to listen to. I actually put exciting down there, which is strange because usually V-shape is exciting. And when we get down to the quads, I'm gonna talk about their being V-shaped and being exciting. So completely opposite end of the spectrum. Low end, not quite what I would want. It's more neutral. I'm okay with neutral, but I like a little, with an IM, I usually want to go more towards the fun end of things, especially down with the cheap ones. Under $100 and $150, you know, you're getting basically IMs that should all sound different and maybe have a little bit of a V shape to it. You know, I don't, yeah, good. It's good. Neutral bass, slightly bright, exciting to listen to. The imaging is an eight. That means when there's separation for left, I mean, these sound extremely wide, and at the same time, you can delineate sounds across the field like this. So right off the bat, that puts these near the top of this recommendation for, um, spoiler alert, for the next 45, 50 minutes, these, these. Let's move on, because I'm gonna bounce back, I'm sure. I'm sure, well, there's no shores here, but I'm sure. Brainwaves, M100s. I love brainwaves in their cases. I, I, I 
can't knock them for these things. I mean, here looks, I actually pulled another one out that I haven't been using. They're just, they have the whole theme going. I'll find something to put in that. I'm probably going to end up using this for something else. I haven't decided what yet, but case good. Comes with another set of complies. Comes with all the little tips. Standard stuff. Standard fare. Double zipper on a five inch zipper is amazing. There you go. Even has the little Brainwaves logo on it. Probably the best wire of the group. I have to see. Here's the thing. They're not the best of this group, and Brainwaves keeps sending me them for free because he's like, "Hey, Chester, I had to test test these now." Because I, you know, I do their pads. They send me the pads, and I gush over those. Then they keep sending me IMs, and I keep listening to them and just being disappointed over and over again. So I'm going to point out some really good things about it. I like the 45 degree. I like the heavy duty strain relief. I love the textured cable. It feels like a textured heat shrink though, all the way down. Look at this. Look at this strain relief. Ah, oh, ah, oh, with more and more and more and more and more. You get the three individual buttons. You separate them. Again, attached cable, but look at how they're shaped. I had high hopes for them because they're huge. They're long. They're crazy long. In fact, it's sort of a negative. They have a long shape. When you put them in your ears, they stick out quite a bit. And they're not very heavy. They're metal. But they stick out quite a bit, and you can tell. You could just tell. What was the, the, In IM Review 4, I talked about those, uh, the focals. Those were crazy long. So these are shorter than that. Uh, I also have the double tips on here. I don't know what you call them, double flange? Double flange tips. Even strain relief on that, which is like a little notches in it. So, can't knock the build, can't knock the weight. They're not heavy. It's just when you put them in, you tend to put them in farther than you would normally. And looking at this, it's... Mm, let me... forward sounding forward mids and shouty so you put them on and I was listening to obviously I listened in order and then I was just going back and forth to compare and these are not the worst ones of the group I'll say that much I'm not going to spoiler alert anything but these are not the worst ones in the group but when I went back to them all those things that I thought about them I kept thinking about them I was like, okay, this is, oh, it was sort of like a downgrade. As soon as I went from the Fios to the Brainwaves, it was like, ooh, shit. Because, you know, the treble in these were a little bit, but six. These get a six, 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 five, seven. Those are low marks. And I, I wish they didn't do that to me, but that's what they're doing. The treble sounds cheap. The treble sounds like any $20 set of IEMs would have that same amount of treble. And I'm not talking about those magic ones, just normal, just bought them out of gas station IEMs. They have that sort of treble. They have no sub bass. And the thing is, I think the last pair of Brainwaves I reviewed had way too much bass. It was just like boom, boom. And I was like, wow, at least someone who wants bass could have those. So there's nearly no bass with these that is good. They are very shouty, very forward. And the treble is cheap. I mean, if you have an alternate opinion, if you own M100 Brainwaves, please post it in the comments. Because maybe I'm crazy. Maybe my set needs another 200 hours of burning. Because I've had them for a while and I've used them. And it's just like every time I come home, I just take them the hell off. And I'm just like, all right. Be done with you. Because they look, they look the part. They just don't sound the part. Keeping in mind that I... I these are still not the worst ones of the group. Moving on. We're going to try to do this in under an hour. The one more triples. So we're going from 80 to 90 to $95. Now, I bought these with the Patreon monies because everyone, everyone on earth was just jacking it to the one more triples. And I'm just like, all right, I'll buy a set. Want to look at the box, by the way, because we're out of the 
territory of the Fio. The Fio had an okay box and a great case. This comes with, look at this magnet. It looks like it should hold like cigarettes that are really expensive. Same with the, uh, the quad, so I don't have to review that twice, but okay. Might be a little hard to get in and out of it. It's one of those, like, I think there's nothing in the bottom of it, but you gotta feel around. Look at the presentation on this, and we're gonna go into the presentation on the quads also. So you, you get what looks like a book. It looks like it wants to be, in fact, it's even got vertical lines like a book. And it's got a magnet there, and you lift it up and you open, and it's like, oh. It's got these sketches. Looks like Da Vinci designed them. Did Da Vinci come and design your IMs? Here's where there's some, this is where the tips were. And then you pull this little tab and it reveals the, I feel like this would be if you got really expensive perfume, it would all come in something like this. And this was the box that contained the other box. And this contains, it still has it in it. Look at that. Look at that gold plated airplane adapter. All right, I'm just, Smith, I'm glad I own this pair because guess what? That's mine. It has this little clip which you can use. Ugh. Just like boxes in boxes. This is my grandfather was a die cutter, so he literally designed the machines that cut the cardboard. And he would look at this and go, "Shit, that's a lot of fucking cardboard to cut." I'm gonna go. Okay, close that. So those things come out of it now. Here's the case. Here's manuals, and here is your. I don't even know what you'd call it. I'm sure there's a French word for it. With all your tip sizes. From 14 and a half millimeter to 13, 12, 11, 10, 11 foam, 13 foam, 14. Now, I figured out at some point that my ears are two different sizes and that's why I would always fall out of one side or out of another side. So that's how I've got them set up right now with the foam tips, which this is a very large opening. So it actually, these might work, these tips on my Odyssey. I signs. I may I may dig into that. How do they sound? Zeos, why are you avoiding talking about the sound? Well, I'm not avoiding it. You're a dick. Can we look at them first? Fabric cable. The only fabric cable of the group. I have nothing wrong with fabric cable. Straight end. That's fine. Strain relief is tiny. Actually, that's strain relief. Whatever we call that split. Into rubberized wires with grooves. Here's your three buttons. Not labeled, but they're in the same, like, rose gold. They look expensive. I like the way they look. They're a straight, straight vertical into a gray cone, and then you get these covered in my earwax foam tips that I put on there. Let's squeeze them down, because I need to squeeze them. They're not complies. They're their own foam tips. I feel like I need to listen to music a little bit. My first bullet point, besides fabric cable, was balanced sound. And I'm going to stick with that. I'm going to stick with these having a balanced sound compared to just about everything else. I mean, unless you count 666 as a balanced sound on the brainwaves, but we're not going there. They don't offend. In fact, that's the last bullet point is no offense. The treble I gave an 8, the mid-range I gave a 7, the bass I gave an 8, the imaging I gave an 8, and the width I gave a 7. That's about as middle of the road to good as I can give. Now, for under $100, these are a good investment, especially since I bought them, so I'm going to say that. Now we're going to move on in a bit to the quads, which are twice the price. But knowing that, if I didn't have the quads, these, these, they are a little bit, do you remember when I did in the fourth one of these, which isn't released yet, but I'm still filming this and I have to talk about it like you know it. In the fourth one, I talked about the mezes with the wood and I said, they sound woody. These sound woody. There's no wood on them but they sound woody. They sound stepped back. They're not, some of these will just literally take the sound and just shove it in your fucking, ah, listen to this, listen to this, where these step back. And the loss you get with that is a little bit of mid-range. You, you, the vocals don't sound as, usually mid-range when you see this number here and I've given you the seven on this, that's vocal clarity. That's how I, I hear, you know, 
the, the middle of the sound, all of the sound that matters. And then it's just bass and treble that are the sprinklings of, is the treble good? Is the treble great? Is the treble shit? And then bass, same thing. So they pull their punches a little bit on vocals, but everything else just sounds bound. Like there's no like, are these too bassy? No. Are they too trebly? No. What are they? No. Yes. No. The width was a surprising bit. Because keep in mind, the F5s, the Fios, they're the only ones with a 9 on this table. And my very first IM shootout, I gave it to those blue ones that I can't remember the names of them. Shit, I forgot last time I decided to talk about them. Am I just going to... Hold on, I'm going to stare into the ether. Whatever. The ones that won the first... Uh, those had tremendous width, and that was like... That was the winning decision for those IMs. So I'm going to come back to this table again. And I love the way these sound balanced-wise. They, they don't... They don't hurt. The treble doesn't get up there. I even put a plus next to the 8 for treble. Because it's like almost a 9. And the reason it's not a 9 is because we got to get to its big brother, the, the quad driver. But the F5s have the width. They have the width and they have the 8 in imaging. And these have very little... Like, you hear sounds here and never beyond. They're, they just sound like left and right and the imaging is just okay. Look at the size of the opening. We're going to go back and forth, so don't worry about it. I'm not jumping the times. Let's talk about the Philips Fidelio S2BKs, because they're black. We'll start with the cable, 90 degree. It's a flat wire with two-tone. Love it. Love it. Oh, my God. And then it splits to another two cables with this slidey thing. Here's your button. One button. Only one. It's got this very thick, I'd call it straight and relief thing. It's got a very similar shape to the one mores. Obviously, a, look at the size of that driver in there. I forget what the, what the advertised is, but it's big. This is a big, it's ported here. We've got foam on it. I have the foam tips and I put them in and had to stop. Had to stop listening to them is my last bullet point. Because as I'm writing the bullet points, and I've had these, these have had the longest, and I apologize to the owner who sent them to me. I hope I can figure out who you are. If I've borrowed any of this stuff from you and any of these things, and I just don't contact you, contact me. Because when I've had something for like six months, I'm a dick for it. And the fact that I've taken these out and used them, and I'm still going to just shit all over them, is a sad day for everybody, I think. Right? Because Fidelio... I will fight you to the death because of my X1s. Just to the death. I love them. The X1s, X2s, the Ship 9500s, and these are the S's with the Phillips. Go Phillips. Not these. Talk about the case. I love the flat wire. I like the case. Look at the little dimple. Oh, it's a case. I like it. This is probably the most convenient case if you want to take it with you. You don't want to shove a big plastic box. This is okay, but still, this is nice. You can put that in your butt, it won't hurt at all. We move up, they, they don't look bad. Look at the, I think it's a fake vent. It, it looks like the Fidelio vent. Look, it looks like the back of those. Oh, it looks like the Fidelios that are good. But these are not good. These are not even slightly good. And the thing is that they, first time you put them in, you're like, oh, that sounds, different is it is the low end good is anything good? no they're very forward these are the m50s of ims sacrilege forward sound painful garbage treble artificial those are the words i wrote and i have to read them because i wrote them and that's how this works because i don't think about how awkward it's going to be to say them when i'm on camera when i'm writing them the treble in these is fucking murder and if they had like good low end and decent mid range, you could EQ that out. But it's just okay in both. By the way, these are one hundred and eighty dollars for the pair. One hundred and eighty, not eighty, not forty. Just no, no. These are no. 
I literally had to stop listening to them to write this shit down. And I, I don't, I haven't, for just for your knowledge, I'm using the MH8 task cam up there to play these so I could do all quick switch. But when I wasn't for the months beforehand, I've had these plugged into every portable player or most portable players. And I've listened to them on more appropriate amps and it doesn't help. It doesn't help ever. It doesn't fucking help ever. I want, it's a Fidelio. I should have the most bias towards loving everything Philips and Fidelio. Just, oh, I love these, these are great. They're not, they're not great at all. They hurt to listen to. As soon as anything trebly comes on, it's time to take them off. Their numbers are treble, five. That's for pain and quality. That's not just both. It's too much treble that hurts and it doesn't sound very good. Mid-range and bass, I gave eights simply because I couldn't actually hear them through the treble, but I'm assuming that they're, the, the contrast is so great they just have to be eights. None of this matters, you're not buying them. Imaging, only a seven. So that's well, the imaging on the, on the, the brain waves imaging was so bad that nothing ever settled like either in the middle or way out there. These at least sounded like you could get sort of like a mid middle of sound going on. And yeah, the imaging on that was five. Imaging on the Fidelio is a seven with, here's the kicker. Fidelio X1s or X2s, widest headphones, plain, widest dynamic headphones that you could probably afford. I won't say ever, but for 300 bucks, you can't get, I don't know what sound stage is. Try my X1s, now you know. These get a six on image, on width. That means they never sound like it's coming out past your ears. It's just here. It's just here. It's just here. Even the brain waves, which I didn't like, have better imaging, have better width going on. So they don't image well. They're not very wide sounding and the treble is murder. Goodbye, Fidelios. It was nice knowing you. Now on to the quads, which I got this pair before they were available, and I could have rushed one of these reviews and got it out and been like, oh, I'm super elite deal, so I got the quad. No. no. They're going to sit in a pile like everything else sits in a pile waiting to be reviewed while I think about it. It's got the second best wire of the group, where the Brainwaves does take it away with that wire, and I like the cloth wire on the triples, but oh my lord, look at the coloring of this like twisted copper black. There's like, it looks like rust. It's got this feel and it's got the 90 degree with the crazy strain relief that'll bend in every direction. Probably, actually I'm gonna pull it out just to show you. Look at, oh, look at how small it is. Look how short it is. I'm in love. I'm in love. Z-Man's in love with a cable. So it comes back here, it goes to a standard non-labeled split. You get this triple button. I mean, look at those buttons. Just look at those, but they're, they're, they're even, the center is concave and the outside ones are convex. So you get the slightest, they didn't have to do that. They made a different button for the middle. So you can, mm. and we come up and I wish these cables were detachable because I know that when this breaks, you're gonna be sad the shape of them they look they look straight out of the fifth element they look like the mandashiwan ship <laughs> yes i know the fifth element that much that i could call them the mandashiwans they're on the they're on the border now crap look at the size of that that is the biggest opening i've seen that is officially as big as the Odyssey, the eye signs. It's huge. It is short though. One of the, another, there was another thing with the um, the triples is I felt like it was short. Like it felt just like, mm, mm. however, these are big enough. By the way, the build quality on these is just astonishing. I love the little tapered back. There's a vent hole. Other than the back actually vents, it's just for looks. I don't know. I don't know. What are the numbers? 97988. There, are we done? Can we go home now? You done watching this? Nine and treble, which I, if you see erasure marks, I, I do all these numbers in pencil because as I'm going through, I have to balance everything. 
and I've erased the eight that was here, made it a nine, because I went back to this. I'm like, well, that sounded good, but no, no, that these are a nine. Dynamic sounding yet V-shaped. Now I don't know how you guys want to interpret that. If I'm crazy, or if I'm just an idiot, but they sounded very engaging. Like you put them on, and okay, now I'm listening to music. It's music time now. Where some of these I'm doing a headphone review or I'm doing an IM review. These I actually just started listening to music with. And that's the best sign of them all. Treble nine. Point here, treble over detail. So the treble is great. Like there's no cheap soundingness to it. It's, you know, put violins on and it sounds like, wow, those are fucking good violins. They might be slightly just that much too much treble, too much detail. I gave it a nine anyway. If it hurt at any point, it would have gotten down to an eight. And I had an eight and it didn't, so nine. The mid-range only gets a seven. And the only reason the mid-range only gets a seven is because the treble was fantastic. And if you go to the other end of the spectrum, bass exists. Of all five of these, these are the only ones that I considered having IEM bass. Like the low end you expect and you plop them in your ears. All these other ones were neutral or just bad. None of them were a crazy bass experience. And these were the bassiest of them all, and they get a nine. That's how you go, that's how it goes. So it has extremely good treble and extremely good bass. Let's reverse those because I want to see how my graph goes from low to high. So extremely good treble and extremely good bass. And the mid range, if it would have been extremely good, then these would just be fucking end all IMs. But they're not. So I gave the, the mid range a seven. It doesn't do anything wrong. It just doesn't stand out. Vocals didn't stand out. Violin stand out. Techno music stands out. Vocals are good. They're good. I actually was able to, I put another last bullet point that says loud listening. Because I kept turning up the volume knob on that one. Just put it up. Just keep putting it up. And I didn't do that on any of the other ones. Some of them I actually had to turn down just because please don't kill me. But the quads, man. The quads. I've listened to I think the most I had was like seven or thirteen drive some some absurd number in in ear monitors. I'm just like, oh, really? Now when we get to the next IM shootout, which will probably only be about a week after this one, I don't want to really hold it up because this is number five. Number six has just IMs that are more expensive than this, and we're gonna get to a set with quads in that, and that's what I'm gonna shit my pants. But. What do these do? So you put these on and you actually want to listen to music. Like it's not just, oh, I bought IMs and I guess they're all right. Wait, is that backwards? That's backwards. Don't be bad, Zeos. I got to tell myself that occasionally. First of all, they also slide right in and just work. Oh, that room effect that I was getting on the F5s. They're here, it's just slightly more controlled. Again, the imaging and width is only an eight. The width on the F5s is still wider, but you hear things happening. I wish I could sound demo these. I hold my breath when I do reviews. Oh yeah, these, these are the most fun of the group, period. They're the most fun. I want to put them in. I want to listen. The next most fun of the group are the Fios. So now you have a choice. If Unless you're not here for fun. Maybe you're here. To, I want depressing IMs. I want ones that I just hate. Then you get Fidelio S2s. I just want to hate all my music and everything I listen to. Perfect. Sold. Or I really, you know, I've had good IMs and I just want to hear what like a slightly, like mostly bad, well that's the, that's the brainwaves, they're slightly bad. And I don't mean to keep shitting on them, but they just don't give me anything that's worth really talking about, which is why I put them off for months at a time. The, and then, alright, we got, I want to talk about the, I can't deny how good the triples are, the one more triples are. If you have $100 to spend, these are what you're buying. Or is it? Because these are what you should be buying. It's such a... Here's how it's going to go down. 
Here's how it's gonna go down, because I've been, I've been toiling. This is one of the first ones that comes out where it's really close. I've done six reviews in advance. It's always like, this one is just a winner by a mile. Winner by a mile, winner by a mile. This is a winner by an inch. And it's gonna be the quad driver one more. It just is, it has to be. However, if I'm going back and forth between the Fio F5s and the one more triples, even though the numbers are the mid-range on these and the, the width, I have to give it to the Fio F5s. As the closest second place, it's like, mm, these are $115 more. And I take these second and almost, mm, and then the triples come in and the triples are balanced and even and nice. And no one wants to be with the nice girl. They want to be with the slut. Slut. And then that's the like really popular girl at school that just can do everything. So that that's that's your choice. And I apologize for Theo for calling their I am sluts. But they're more fun. These two are more fun than the nice girl, but the nice girl's probably the one you're gonna marry at the end because she's only ninety five dollars. And then I don't even wanna I don't wanna do any sort of slut shaming to the other things, because I don't know what the M one that's honey boo boo grown up is basically the brain waves and then the Fidelio S twos Man, I'm digging myself into a hole with this one. The Fidelio S2s are that... You know that girl from high school that just became the ultimate bitch? That's her. You can't even stand the sound of her voice. You just want to blow your brains out. And the triples are the, are the librarian who's kind of cute. And then these girls are the party girls. So, I mean, if you've never seen a Z review, this... You just experienced it. It went from, like, a cold open to that. But, yeah. So... Quads, spectacular, and the F5s, right behind them, the width and the mid-range, and just, mm, and the fact that you could attach the cables and use balanced, which, oh, you want to know if the balanced cable helped this? Eh. Eh. Again, I'm on the fence about if balance is helping or not, but I'll use it if I can, and it does, and it did. Yeah. Okay, good. Wrap this up. Time to switch to very expensive items. Very expensive. If you're seeing this video, that means today is a very special day for you, for me, for the win. Yeah.